Well, Alina's getting organized. <clears throat> I think there's a connection issue or something. And when she gets that straightened out, she will join us. I'm going to go ahead because the time is moving on. This is the session on how to move a flat application to Royale, to Apache Royale. <clears throat> and uh, I'm glad you're all here. And let's see how far we can get and how many things I can say wrong before Elena shows up. I'm Andrew Wetmore, and I work on the, uh, oh, hang on, she's asking how to get live. So let's see if I can figure that out for her while you guys watch in real time. Um, um, let's see. She's having trouble going live, and so I, in my best uh, a customer service voice, said, what seems to be the problem? And we'll see if she can uh, share that with me, and there, therefore I can get her in here. And anyhow, I, <clears throat> I am a committer for the Apache Royale team, and I also work on the infrastructure team. Alina is a committer. Before the project we're talking about started, though, she knew nothing of Apache Royale. She was working for a company that had a huge, important application. It's about 2,000 files altogether. And it was a, a very effective flex application. And as you know, if you have a flex application and you're running it, you need Flash. You need that platform to run your application on. And as you also know, Flash, the Flash player is coming to the end of life. And that sort of casts doubts also on the uh, Adobe independent, uh, integrated runtime, the alternative for a desktop environment, about how long that will last. So with the end of Flash support, they had a choice. Either rebuild the whole application in some new technology or use their existing assets and their existing team skills and move the application to Royale, which is the, the further evolution of, uh, of Flex. Hang on, she's sending me an image so I can try to see. She sees me, but she's having trouble going live. She sees us. Um, I'm going to advise uh, Alina... Uh, and you contact Rich, Rich Bowen through the Slack channel. But for Rich Bowen for the uh, for uh, the software convention is the equivalent of the advice when when your family member is having trouble with a computer and you say, can you turn it off and turn it on again? Rich is the solution for all problems. So DBiz Solutions had this application, the end of it, Flash support, they had to decide what to do, rebuild the whole app, or move the application to something like Royale that would support their existing assets and their skills. So they looked at Apache Royale and they realized how similar Royale and Flex are. And that means there, there are many differences, of course, but to move from one to the other is much, much less difficult than moving from Royale to, uh, from Flex to React or to Java or to something else and trying to make the same application work there that you had working already. Uh, so, Alina's boss said, why don't you see if you can migrate this thing? We can move this thing to Royale and make it stand up again and see how, that, how long that will take. Both Flex and Royale use MXML 
and action script files. So there's one good thing. That means that it's shorter time. It takes less time to develop a replacement app, fewer risks in that development, fewer headaches for the team. There's certain things that you have to get used to that are very that are very different, and we'll come to some of those. But in general, the uh, this migration is poses less challenges than a, a, a migration to a different language. So. Um, The migration in general took these steps. First, they had to figure out what parts of Flex their application was using. So they uh, had to run an API report to see what pieces of the, of the Flex were essential for their, for their application. The next step, um, oh, I see that. Oh, good. Maybe I should talk slower because Alina is going to be here in a moment. So uh, I'll stay on the first step for now and say that the API report can be daunting when you see how many sections of the SDK your your application is using. I've written a whole bunch of applications and none of them have been as complex as the one we're talking about today. And each of them has used a ton more uh, pieces, touches a ton more pieces of the, of the SDK than I would have thought possible. I'll just run down this, this bulleted list and that'll give us a running start when Alina shows up. The API report helps you see what are the things you need to use. And then you can go and look and make a comparison between the Flex SDK and the Royale SDK and say, oh, I need this API. Does it exist in Royale? There it is. Oh, this is going to make that migration pretty simple. I just have to look at that and see what things are different in this version of that API um, from the Flex one. Hello. Oh, hello. I've been... I've been uh, juggling here without my juggling partner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm Alina Ghazi, Apache Royale committer. I have worked on migration of Flex application to Apache Royale. Uh, sorry the, for the connection problem. It was not actually the connection problem, but I have two IDs, Apache and my personal ID. So the link ah. was on personal ID. Okay, so now you're here. You can see the slide that I got us to. I've, I've been work, talking as slowly as I could. And I just tried to describe the API report, and it's over to you now. Yeah. And actually, we've yeah, jumped, we've jumped past the place I guess, where you where you talk about your we journey. Can, yeah, we can uh, start. Do you want me to go back one slide? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's, it's Thank you. Over to you. I'm going to shut my mouth now. Thank you. There were a lot of MXML files that were written by Flex, 10 Flex developers for 13 years. So we had two options. First was to rebuild the application in new technology from scratch. That may require a different skill set, a lot of time required for that. Second was to go for an option where we can migrate this Flex application in less time possible and do not require very different skill set. The decision uh, we took was migration of Flex application to Apache Royale. My manager, Ahsan Akhtar at X Company DB Solutions, told me about Apache Royale in early 2018. He knew about Apache Royale at very early stage because he used to read technology stuff a lot. I subscribed to the users and developers mailing list of Apache Royale and started to ask questions. You will find me with, uh, everywhere when you search for an issue. Uh, by time I found Flex and Royale are very similar and it is possible to migrate Flex application to Royale in less time. We need to do some hands-on conversion. Languages are same in Flex and Royale, like MXML and ActionScript, both were in Flex and both are in Royale. So the syntax will remain same. 
function, loop, classes, properties will work as they worked before. Business logic that we built in Flex will remain same in Royale. Components and their function that do not rely on Apache Flex or Adobe Flash feature will probably work with minor tweaks. About my journey, I would say we were two developers on this project. I started alone in February 2018 when no emulation was present in SDK. I got help from Apache Royal community, especially Alex. He's PMC member in Apache Royal team. He has started some emulations in Apache Royal SDK. In the visual area, he initially added MX Core application that every Flex application has. And in non-visual area, he added MX Core UI component. It was a Flash API in real. I learned from those APIs, and then I started to add emulation in SDK. On uh, 3rd April 2018, I added my first commit to the SDK, and then I added a lot. Within a month, I got the status of Apache Royal committer, and then become part of the team. Later on July 7, 2018, my sister Pashmina Kazi has joined DBiz. I taught her what the community taught me. She was a quick learner. In August, she started to commit, and she became committer too in October 2018. Then we have worked on the project together, APIs, emulation, compilation success of our application, ROs worked, first preview of the login page, menu setups, and then programs started running on the browser. We got this success step by step. She continued with the organization till the end. And now I'm going to discuss these steps. These are the steps for migration of Flex application to Apache Royale. API report is the initial step. We generate this report to see what components your existing application use. All you need to do is to make your application Flash free. I've shared a link below to generate the API report on the next slide. Here it is. Some popular Flash APIs have been emulated to Royal, uh, like Flash Core UI component has emulation, MX Core UI component. Uh, Flash events event has uh, has uh, alternate in Royal or Apache Royal events event. Flash Net Navigate to URL has uh, alternate or Apache Royal Core browser window. And get qualified name has also uh, an alternate or Apache Royal reflection get qualified name. So the easy parts uh, in this migration process were like we need to change the namespaces from uh, Flex to Royal. So here's example given that we need to change the replace the namespaces, replace the Flash APIs with the equivalents in Apache Royal. An example is also given. Uh, add the class alias bead in your application file and every module file, but not the border container or title window. MX script should be replaced with uh, FX script. MX component should be replaced with FX component. Can we move on to the next slide? Creation of steps. There is always a slight delay between when I click and when you see. Yeah, I uh, read it. Move to the next slide. Creation Am I on the right stuff. slide now? Creation of stuff. Next slide. Oh, even further. Yeah. Next. OK. Even more. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Royal has set of uh, emulation components and reflex, replace flex components that are dependent on flesh features. There are uh, these are the sets MX Royal and Spark Royal. You can download the source flex SDK source and Royal SDK source. I have given li link on the slide that you can see. And uh, you need to do uh, First contains MX and uh, UI component emulation. Second contain the Spark emulation. Your initial target is to compile your application with Royal SDK. You might need to check from the API list what is required and what is present in SDK. You need to add the remaining stuff in Royal SDK. 
the step will at this stage do nothing, but you will be able to compile without any error. I have shared the links of Flex SDK source, as I said earlier, and Royal SDK source. You can download both of these source on your machine, and you can see that what APIs are written in Royal and what we need to emulate for this compilation success. Copy the code from Flex SDK to the stub function or property that you need to compile your application. You need to paste it to Royal SDK at the same place. What if the API does not have alternate in Royal, neither exist in emulation set of uh, MX Royal or Spark Royal? Here you need emulation. An emulation is an attempt to make something look like something real. In this case, real is Flex SDK file or API. Copy Flex SDK file from uh, uh, copy file from Flex SDK and paste it to Royal SDK on the same path. The difference only uh, the difference here is only that uh, in Flex they were MX and Spark. Here the library names are MX Royal and Spark Royal. Comment out all import statement use namespace MX internal. Comment out all style metadata. If you need any style, you can put it as property, right? See your API report, delete everything that is not mentioned in your API report. Sometimes a subclass may need some properties or methods, so you may leave them. If your current implementation won't work, like this, uh, you haven't filled this stuff, you don't have knowledge about the stuff, what, uh, what do you need to fill in that stuff? For now, you can add a trace statement, the API name and the method name is not implemented. So that when you run your application, you can see that this, this chunk was added as a stub, but it, it's not implemented yet. If you need a reasonable value for now to return, you can return true, false, zero, whatever you want. If the component Sorry. is used in MXML area, so you need to add it to MX Royal manifest, right? Uh, if it belongs to the Spark component, yep. you can add it to Spark Royal manifest. If it is an event or a helper class, non-visual uh, event, so that you can add it to MX Royal classes or Spark Royal classes. Add Royal sup uh, suppress public warning in AS document to suppress warnings. See list event, for example. Replace flash APIs to Royal equivalents. This time I'm talking about SDK file to make it flash free. Yeah. Like we have to make, remember we have to make our code and flash uh, code and SDK both flash free. Now the part is getting emulation component to run. Okay. How uh, we have created uh, the emulation. Yeah. At this point, our application should compile successfully with the Royal SDK. Right. Key principle here is yep. uh, composition instead of an inheritance. Royal has basic and express component set comprised of top level components. It is important for UI to uh, subclass UI component. Copying a bits of code from basic or express yep. to the right step of the emulation component. Copying the CSS from basic or express into MX Royal or Spark Royal. Recompose the basic and express feeds onto the emulation strand. And it will work if you're lucky. <laughs> uh, but it, uh, but sometimes it is better to subclass basic or express speed in MX Royal, Spark Royal, and overriding and adding something of you that you need to compile your application. Like there are few things in the uh, beads that uh, are in express or, or basic, but you need something more in the bead. So you can uh, subclass that main class and add the additional functionality to your own class. Yeah. I'm just noting express. we're at halfway in our time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have faced many, many bugs even after compilation. A uh, few are. Uh, we go to the next slide. Yeah, these type of bugs that when drop down menu doesn't look good, it has additional uh, like area. It is flex. 
the car the old one and, and this is the current and this is yeah. the one that has all that blank space at the bottom yeah and there was and so that was an issue of ju just yeah, getting I'm, into the I'm just sharing, yeah i'm just sharing small issues that were happened there were a lot of issues at that time but because the emulation is ready now then there are much it is much better now then uh, yeah. we can use the basic components easily so here, this required highlighting an essential field, but Royale wouldn't do it at first, and you had to go in and figure out how to activate that function. Yeah. Then there was another issue, uh, yeah, menu overlap, overlapping. When it should be, when we click to the next yeah, menu, so here the you had previous open one should one. close. Yeah. Okay, then. And all of those, um, when you can see the issue, then it would be fairly easy to dig into the API and and um, figure out where the um, the control was missing or the or the function was missing to close down the first sub menu when you open the second. Yeah, community is actually here to help you. Even uh, you can't you can put the emulation stubs, and people will going to fill those stubs. So it will be easy for you, and you will compile your application with the current state. In the current state, the Flex application will run on uh, with compiler, Royal compiler, and it does well. Yeah, that's grand. Yeah. Okay, so we got to success. What is success for this project? Yeah, I would like to uh, add something more for people who have started the project. Yeah. That go and check Royal SDK commits for the creation of emulation, Spark, MX components in Royal SDK since March 2018. It will help you to understand how you can create stubs and new emulation from scratch. I want people to come through this technology as they don't need to change much in their code. Like the existing code will work. Yeah, that's one of the most powerful things about. Um uh this path is that you can take your flex app and give it new life uh now the, the flash is going away because almost so much of what you already have yeah is just because going to work. emulation components are almost ready so they that they can use the those emulation components and they that they don't need to change in mxml area at all so in action script area they need to replace this flash apis with the royal royal apis that's it Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, Carlos said we can hear. You. Okay. With my little experience, I tried to help those people who haven't started yet or are at very early stage. So feel free to ask questions at the users and developers mailing list of Royal. Community is here to help you. You are exactly three months left in end of flesh life. Today is 30th September. Choose the option of migration with emulation that is possible to achieve in less time. For the client satisfaction, you need your application ready by start of January 2021. After that, you can make some changes to adopt dual components. As your clients will already be using the application, you will have time for the dual adoption. Depending upon the size of your application, you can do that in six to 12 months maybe. At this point of for migration, I, I mean change, because you already have migrated to the Royal structure. You need to main uh, change the MX Royal, Spark Royal set to dual set. You might don't need to touch Action script part because it is already migrated in Royal. Maybe few changes are required. You have to change in MXML area like components in MX Royal are MX button. In Jewel, they are the J button. So, uh, some prompt properties in MX button exist, doesn't exist in Jewel. You can achieve them by adding beads. Say more about beads. Uh, beads are actually functionalities. So uh, take it. 
take an example of a train, like uh, the engine is strained that AP, every API had, and the cars are like beads. So whichever car you require, you can attach with your bead, and you can use it. That is good. So the uh, the principle of the of the beads is that a component, an instance of a component, doesn't have have to have all the code to do all the things that every instance of that component might do. If this if this one instance of this text entry field has to support password entry, it only yeah. needs the bead that lets it do that, right? If, right, because if, the password field might be on the login page. When you are logging in, uh, you have username and password. So do, you do not require that uh, functionality on every text field. Right. right. Right? You don't only need it there. So you can add that bead at this point in the code, yeah. and it will work. And the benefit, one of the, I have used one of the benefits of my, that is that you don't have this great big lump of unused uh, code that you're carrying around in your application. It's only the file that needs the code that gets it. Only the only the component that needs the code that gets that bead. Yeah, Andrew, I want to tell you, I haven't used any bead in this migration except class alias bead. Yes, I, I, I noted that you you went the emulation route. And yeah, and that's uh, and so you emulated everything that you did, and you got the benefit of a running application. Um, you did not get the benefit of a much smaller code fo footprint. That would be the other option of going to going to strands and beads. Yeah, but uh, for me, for the new users, I would suggest them that they should start with drill. Right, because they are uh, components are more beautiful. But for the <laughs> migration, like uh, because the time is short, only three months are left. Right, so yes. at this we have, point, we have I about, would suggest we have about for, ten minutes. Okay, so we should go for this option, right, for the emulation option, because uh, client yes. made it the application ready by first of January. Yes. That is quick option than the other one, dual yeah. one. Yeah. This is my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, it's based on your experience also. I would think also I would think main that if you were starting from nothing to build an application, of course you could not emulate anything, but that's where our component sets would be very valuable. Um and later today, actually, uh, Carlos is going to be talking about that. What if you start from a blank file? and want to build yeah. an application. In this case, when you're moving from an existing thing in Flex to an application in Royale, and you want to bring along all the developers who have worked on the Flex application, well, you might as well emulate what they're familiar with working on. So yeah, see, like how we, have, uh, we had 10 developers. They were working for 13 years, and we were just two who have emulated the application in <laughs> two years. Yes. So uh, it was a financial ERP system, actually. It has multiple modules, accounts, receivable, account payable, receivable, feasibility, purchase, inventory, and much more. Yes. So when we can migrate this application, every application can be migrated via emulation. Yes. Yeah, and it works. It works solidly, and as far as you hear from that company, it uh, people are content. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That I count that a success. So, who, do you want to do you want to speak about the people who uh, who got us here? Yeah, yeah. My manager at X Company, Esther uh, Akhtar, who has provided me this opportunity. He, uh, take my name uh, like he said that you are the person who is going to do this project so I want to thank him and Alex who has supported a lot in the with the emulation components I didn't I used to ask blunt questions if you will see you will laugh at me like uh, I because there was no emulation available there was nothing at this stage at that stage so I used to ask like 
how I can do this, how I can do this, how I can do this. And they used to reply, probably this will help the newcomers to uh, uh, migrate their application. And the rest of the community who has devoted, they, uh, who have devoted hours in this migration success. And my family members, my aunt and my father, my mother, my husband, my kids, my sisters and my brothers, everyone in my family. I want to thank them. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say about the Royale developer community that every one of us was a beginner with Royale. Yeah. Because it's it's, it's a young uh, a young project. Um, and every one of us had to ask questions, almost embarrassed, say, oh, I, I don't even know how to do this piece. And someone says, this is how you do it. And then you know, and you're happy. My experience anyhow is then you're happy to share it with other people coming into the community or starting to lead to uh, the SDK. Yeah, I see people, so they don't, do uh, they're shy, open, they feel. Uh, 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 if in, if I see people feel uh, shy about uh, asking questions, but I used to ask questions like one after another, one after another. When I receive an email, I ask another question and another question. Yeah, the, the trick for the community is to catch those really important questions and, and document them. So the next new person doesn't have to ask the same question again and again. In the same way, you did a huge job of um, creating emulations and replicating APIs. And the next person coming in can use all that stuff that you have created. They don't have to start from the same starting place. Yeah, that you many did. people are adding emulation to the may? SDK, and now probably I think almost all APIs are added to the SDK. So when the newcomer will come, they might uh, don't need to do anything. Like they can start their project and compile with it with Royal, or maybe need to add few properties or methods in the SDK. Uh, yeah, I I I hope it is that effortless. I'm. I'm it may be that I'm just not the smartest programmer, but I always find a, a bit of a struggle. But then I always find that the community helps me out to get me past struggle. If anybody watching has a question, we have a couple of minutes. And if you can type them into the chat screen, we'll do our best to answer them. But while I'm waiting to see if any questions occur, I wanted to say that to... Um, to the, 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 the best way and the constant way to be able to get answers is to go to the uh, Apache Royale website or join the mailing list for... Um, uh, there's a question. And uh, yep, there's a question. Go ahead. Can emulation components be used at the same time? As strands and beads. Yeah, we can use them because we have used a uh, glass alias bead. I haven't used much beads in uh, the application, but if we can use one, then then we can use others too. Yeah. I have worked on jewel sets also, so I have seen a lot of uh, strand and beads, like beads there. But I think we can use all of them with uh, the. Emulation. Yes, it would be a matter, and really, you could take an emulated component and add a um, the strands and beads uh, section, and add and other beads to that that the original thing in Flex didn't uh, did not have. Yeah, because these beads are uh, available in default CSS of the MX Royal and Spark Royal project. So I think they should be uh, used. They, they could be used with the MX and Royal emulation set. Yep. The other thing I was going to say is uh, the, the place where all these we two were asking all those questions was, of course, on the user's mailing list for Apache Royale. 
And that's a great place to post questions. The community usually comes back very quickly with a response or, an, or a clarification. Uh, often I see questions that are asked and then someone in the community will say, well, can you, can you show us a bit of your code or can you show us the error message that you ran into? And that will help us give the, the specific answer. Yeah, there are examples available in this SDK, uh, Royal SDK, so that they can pick those examples and add only the stuff they are uh, have question about so that they can compile that and send it to the community so that they can reply soon. Yeah. So Praveen is asking, is there an emulation sample in Git? Emulation, uh, MX Royale in examples are the uh, emulation sample on Git. In the SDK, Royale yeah. SDK, MX Royale yeah. is a folder in the examples, examples folder. So it has yeah. all emulation sample. Yeah. And it's, it's sort of fun to compare those to the files that are being emulated in um, in the Flex SDK. Carlos has shared the link. There it is. Yeah. That's full of emulation. Yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Carlos. Um, tomorrow, uh, Carlos is giving a presentation on a, um, oh, I'm sorry, that, I see what you're saying, but I'll say this first and then the second thing, that that set of examples includes the Tour de Flex uh, set of component examples that was so popular in Flex. And Carlos is doing a presentation tomorrow on Tour de Royale, the Tour de Jewel, rather, the Tour de Jewel, which is an exa uh, a demonstration of how you can use all sorts of components in the Jewel component set in Royale. And this means you can see the component in action, then take a look at the code, and then actually make use of the code in your own application if you want to. Yeah. I would say for... And so, so for someone, someone starting not with an existing application, I would say that's the way to go because you won't be emulating stuff if you if you have a blank file but there you have all those examples and you can basically stick the various examples together and make something really interesting very quickly yeah so praveen says alina you said that most changes are in a action script files only and mxml doesn't change much is, is yeah, when you, emulate, I, when you emulate an API, your properties will be compiled as it is in the MXML area. But if you are using a Flash API directly from a Flash call directly from your source, an action script block, so you need to replace it with the emulation one or with the Royal alternative. So I have shared some. We have come. We, we have come to the end of our time, I'm afraid. And we, we, we have to stop because we have to make room for the next uh, thing that's going on in the, um, in the convention. Thank you very much for sharing your experience. I'm sorry you had a tough time on the way in and I'm glad you came to my rescue. No problem, thank you very much and sorry. And <laughs> and thank you to all our audience, and we'll see you at the next thing. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.